Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. This time I'm gonna be showing you guys in a small guide how to gain a lot of realms fast and how to enlighten fast. So, these two kind of go hand in hand. Uh, let me just check my mail real quick. Oh, sh okay. <laughs> Have one really competitive, by the way. Alright, so... The main way you're gonna be gaining your realms is uh, if you go to market, you will. Uh, let me make sure the m music is not too loud. All right. So the main way is uh, well, first you kind of just watch the ads and get these books, the the top row. I'd have to tone down the music a little bit more, actually. Alright. Should be good, I hope. There we go. So, top row, the... <coughs> Bless you. The bluish kind of green books. The first row of books, yeah? So that's gonna be probably your main source of a uh, cultivation based income but there are other ways so if you go to sect well my, my current sect doesn't have it but if you get if you go to sect intelligence you search for I mean you're basically not gonna get it in your elementary sect which is your first sect you get put in when you start a game but if you go to junior sects uh, by the way, get Khan Water Roar, otherwise you're gonna have a rough time clearing Adventure 20. I think I've kinda covered that up in uh, my other guide, so check that out. We got this. So, from, from a Raging Flame Sect, you get this as your... I think it's called Retinue? I, I gotta check, actually. Yes, so Retinue is your last promotion. No, it's Custodian, actually. I had to check, <clears throat> just to make sure. So Custodian is your, your last. You get this book as your Custodian. So after you get Khan Water Roar, which I believe sure should be your priority, <clears throat> just get Cultivation Books, because uh, Khan Water Roar is going to be really strong even in earth rank sects you basically get nothing i feel like i feel like this is the best in earth rank sects which increases your dexterity times four which is really good i feel like switching can water roar with the celestial sound seal as well right now because i'm at that point where i actually gotta switch because it's not strong enough anymore i feel but uh, yeah, so you will get these books, these cultivation books, you also get key books, which are the other greenish ones. Kind of weird colors for me, I, I don't really know which one's turquoise, which one's green, which one's blue. They're kind of similar, I'm gonna be honest. <clears throat> and I'm not much of a color guy. So yeah, just get these books. By the way, do get the key books, you will need the key. Like, look at this. So I'm getting almost 2k key per 5 seconds. That's a lot. But you will need them. At higher key levels, you'll gain more. At higher key array levels, you'll, you'll gain more key per, sec per 5 seconds. But yeah, just get those books. Speaking of key, there we go. So, what other methods do we know? So there's one that's actually pretty well known, which is go to Beast at Adventure redeem and if you go down well you get these which are beast true pills which i don't recommend i i actually do not recommend you get 250,000 for 20 beast nucleus i think they're called these books give you more so first thing you want to unlock at dwelling Wanna unlock the study room, as you can see I'm currently at enlightenment level 15. 
You're getting more perception, which means more cultivation base. Every time you level up your enlightenment. And every time you enlighten books. As you can see, I've enlightened quite a few already. Auto enlighten does help. Speaking of, let me actually do this real quick. But as you can see, these give you a lot of cultivation base. A lot. And uh, quite a bit of enlightenment EXP as well. So this is where stuff kind of combines and you kind of need both. So if you go back at uh, the redeem section of the beast, you get these books. The, the more expansive the book, the more enlightenment EXP and uh, cultivation base you will get. But uh, as you can see, it's showing us that we already purchased the books. Yes. So, if you click redeem, <clears throat> you can actually still buy them, by the way. So this is something that I am pretty sure a lot of people don't know, or uh, don't realize, or don't pay attention to, or just never check. You can't actually buy more. You get stock remaining, which is 999, and you can't actually buy those. And uh, there's actually one other place you can check. But do bear in mind, these books are locked to certain enlightenment levels, which is this, this one is level 10. The blue ones are for level 10 as well. I think I saw level 15 in heaven, but I'm not sure, I don't remember. Let me actually check <clears throat> before we move on. Where? Uh, there we go. Level 15. So that's 30k spirit coins or whatever the fudge they're called. I kind of forgot. Let me actually see if I got any. I got none. Alright. Okay. So. We're going back to Earth. Now, there's one more place. People don't actually check because they probably missed it. You go through inventory and then press Million Treasures Pavilion, which is up here, right next to your hat. You click that, and uh, if you click on Beast, it actually shows you all the stuff you get at Beast. So this is a pretty quick way, all in one menu. You pretty much get everything, but yeah, this is the other... This is how you check, by the way. <laughs> this is how you check what you get, how you get, and from where. So, you can get these with treasure tokens as well. Available at Ensoulment Realm. And I believe the study room unlocks at Ensoulment... Uh, ooh, damn. Ensoulment Realm. There we go. For some reason, I got trouble spelling that. Alright, I'm actually saving for a... Uh, Couple spirit uh, beasts. So yeah, this is pretty much the main way to gain cultivation base and enlightenment is your books. But do keep in mind you can purchase multiple of the same book. So uh, using multiple of the same book will not give you... Uh, will not uh, learn said book faster. You will still have to manually or automatically set it up to learn. But, you will be gaining more cultivation base and more enlighten enlightenment EXP, so you will be leveling up both your study room and your realms way faster. Just use those. I'm pretty much gonna get two of these as well. There we go. And let me just show you that you can actually use them in bulk. Where the book at? There we go. Oh damn, I just got... Uh, okay. <laughs> That's gonna sit in my inventory for a while. Oh yeah, these are Enlightenment level 12, uh, 20. I, I think that's the first time I'm seeing a level 20 actually. I haven't played uh, past half immortal stage. But, yeah, I'm currently there. <laughs> so, that's a lot of shit that's new for me as well. So. 
we use and we got like what almost 92k or something like that not 92 million 46 million i'm not even sure because they was they were used at the same time so the, the text kind of overlapped which was kind of annoying but hey it doesn't really matter the the main thing is that you can actually use them in bulk and we, boom we just leveled up there we go Plus 150 perception as well, which perception means you get more efficiency per 5 seconds towards your cultivation base gain, which is going to help you quite a lot. Because uh, if you check skills, perception, these are my books for cultivation base gaining basically. And that's how you're going to get your realms. I'm currently half immortal for... And you do need at least half immortal, by the way, before you even start considering body cultivation, in my opinion. Because body is really slow, you have nothing to give you a significant cultivation base boost, so you can gain them faster and you'll probably be stuck on Earth for a while. So... Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I think the next video is gonna be attempting to explain basic realm, uh, basic heaven realm functions. Because a lot of people I know don't really know how to play in heaven and how to stay competitive and such. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.